Okay, one more time. Morality is objective. There is such a thing as a moral fact, a knowable, quantifiable moral fact. We, as individuals and as a culture, can decide when we are faced with a, this is a moral action, we can decide quite clearly, this is right and this is wrong. As a matter of fact, the hidden precept that undergirds our legal code and all legal codes is that morality is in fact objective. This is where the state derives its rights from. What are we giving it the right to do? Collectively, we're giving the state the right to do what? To punish, to punish what? To punish a wrongdoing. Key word, wrongdoing. We as a collective society know that a given moral action is wrong. We even measure its wrongness. That's what gives the state the right to punish the action. Because we know that it's wrong. We call it a wrongdoing. A crime. We even measure its wrongness in degrees. What is a degree? It is a quantifiable unit of measurement. You say, how cold is it out outside, Craig? Say it's 37 degrees Fahrenheit. What does that mean? It means it's not quite, it's not quite freezing, but it's pretty chilly. A degree is a unit of measurement, a quantifiable, noble unit of measurement. Is it a standard deviation from zero? And we measure a wrongdoing in what? In degrees of culpability. Say he's not quite that guilty. Why? Because, you know, he, di he, wasn't, he didn't really know exactly what he was doing. We measure it in degrees of culpability, implying quite clearly that morality is, in fact, objective. If morality were not objective, all legal codes would be at root incoherent. If we didn't know that murder is wrong, we couldn't punish somebody for, murder, for murdering somebody. All legal codes would be at root incoherent. Now, the only counter-argument I've ever heard that's worth entertaining is that, you know, legal codes are wildly different, that legal codes are so much different from culture to culture. This isn't actually true. It's really not. That's a myth. There is tons of uniformity between legal codes from culture to culture, almost exactly as much as you would expect if morality was in fact objective. There isn't all this wild amount of disagreement. Stealing, pretty much illegal everywhere. Murder, pretty much illegal everywhere. About 60 to 70 percent of overlap between cultures that are completely different from one another. And yet their legal codes look about 60, roughly the same. There's variation, sure, but if morality was subjective, put it this way, think of it this way. Music, musical taste is totally subjective. If morality were totally subjective, there'd be no uniformity of opinion on legal codes whatsoever. My wife and I have completely and utterly different taste in music. There's no overlap between her CD collection and my CD collection. Or there's a tiny bit, maybe 10%. She likes like urban dance. You know, um, you know the type R&B, things like that. I, I, generally speaking, can't stand that type of music. My record collection is all like classic rock, punk, and rap. She can't stand punk, and she doesn't like classic rock. She calls it druggy music. Her friends call it druggy music. And the only thing we agree on is rap. We, we, we like some rappers. We both like Kanye West, for example. Other than that, our CD collections are wildly different. Why? Because musical taste is subjective. There's very little overlap between the CDs that she goes out and buys and the CDs that I go out and buy. There's almost none. Prince, we agree on. A couple other things. David Bowie, I guess she likes early David Bowie too. That's about it. Legal codes are not like that. And these are vastly different cultures with vastly different traditions. And the legal codes look roughly the same, 60% the same. A lot of uniformity between the legal code. Why is that? Because morality is at root objective. It's objective. There are some moral questions that are hard to discern the actual moral truth thereof. But that can be accounted for. That doesn't mean they're not objective. Just like there are some scientific facts that we don't quite know yet. Doesn't mean some scientific facts are, you know, all according to opinion, bro. Doesn't mean that. Another thing that needs to be 
needs to be addressed because I, I don't know why people get confused about this. They say morality is subjective because you teach it to your children. What on earth difference does that make? Your children don't, it's, in other words, it's not innate. It's not, it's not a question of whether morality is innate or not. It's, whether, it's a question of whether there's such a thing as a moral fact and most reasonable sane individuals know what a moral fact is and we as a society decide collectively this is a moral fact. It's what gives the state to right, the right to punish a wrongdoing. And those devi the, the, the idea of what constitute moral facts is not wildly different from culture to culture, even though these cultures are completely and utterly different on almost every other thing. Let's take, for example, the idea of musical taste. Listen to Chinese music. Ever hear Chinese music? And then listen to, like, you know, classical music. Sounds like it's written from different, it sounds like it's beaming down from different planets. You ever hear Indian music? It's from, it weirds you out. Try and wrap your, try and listen to Chinese, the classical Indian music on the on first sitting. Won't make any sense to you. If morality were subjective, that's what legal codes would look like. They'd be wildly different from culture to culture, and they aren't. They're uniform. There's a lot of uniformity between them. So, there you go. Morality is objective. It is not a matter of opinion whether a given moral act is right or wrong. It is a knowable reality. It is a truth. It is a truth that can be discovered, discerned, and figured out. So, there you have it. That is all on the subject. Amen.